Hi, welcome to James Miller Lifeology, where you will learn to simplify and transform your life. My name is James Miller. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a composer. In today's episode, I wanted to speak with you about those times that we've internalized that we're less than, or it's the times that we've created a snapshot of something which then becomes our identity. For example, for me, high school was not my favorite time in my life. For some people it was, for me it was not. You know, and for the other parts of my life, we're pretty good, for the most part. Now for you, I'm sure you can come up with a certain time in your life that was not good or that you internalized things or you had some really hard life lessons. You know, sometimes people can say, well, my childhood is really bad. And then they can actually give me a specific example of why it was bad. So every one of us have kind of a, a childhood or a life template we use that creates our identity, that gives us our purpose in life, if you will, or that tells us what we can and cannot do. But the problem is some people don't find the balance in that, and then what they've learned in the past all of a sudden tell, tells them moving forward that they're never going to accomplish something, that they're dumb, that they're stupid, that they're less than, that they're never going to be greater than perhaps what this situation years ago told them that they were going to be. So the workaround is this. This is what, so I've been in private practice for the past um, 10 years, but so one of the things that really helped my clients do is this. As the adult now, when you go back in your mind and you see the memory of what's happening, or let's say you were to even potentially see it live now, what would you do? Of course, you would defend that person. You would, you would stand up for them. You would tell them what, that what they're experiencing is, is not right or it's not fair, and perhaps even give them words of wisdom and, and comfort. And so this is exactly what I have my clients do, is when you envision these things, actually write a letter down. Write down what you would say to this person as you're watching this. Tell them how much you care about them, tell them how, how, how much you love them, what you would, how you protect them, how it's not right, how it's not fair, that who they're going to be when they grow up is this. And the life lessons are gonna learn, it may be difficult and, and, and overwhelming, but they're going to become something greater. So is the adult comforting the younger version of you that affords you the bridge to be able to let go of all those painful things and wounds that you experienced? For many ways, we're, we're all wounded children that have just grown up into adults. But the way to heal yourself is to do this simple technique. Now, it's going to cause, for some people, it can be very overwhelming. You know, some people may do it very flippantly or very quickly, and they don't get the full benefits of it. So you really want to tr create as much depth or insight into this as you write this letter of protection to this child, as you write a letter of encouragement, as you write a letter of kind of the wise older person of what this child is going to become and how they should not internalize things, how they should not allow life to beat them down. It's very empowering for you as an adult, but also heals that younger side of you. So I would really encourage you to try that. Um, it's, it's been very successful with a lot of my clients, and I know it will be successful for you as well. Thank you so much for watching James Miller Lifeology. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'm very excited because this coming Sunday, and the next radio show, the theme is Overcoming Adversity. And so my special guest will be Rosanna Ferrari, a very prominent divorce attorney. And you will hear her amazing story of all the things that she's overcome and what's allowed her to be the successful person that she is. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.